Hey y'all, this is William and I'm here today to record a new video showing some really nice feature that for who is from the mainframe world and is starting to learn more about Zoe, VS Code and other ways to interact with this US that may be really really useful and uh, this is called user snippets when we come here to VS Code uh, under code preferences user snippets we can configure the proper snippets that you're gonna use so it has some language you can come here and choose the language you're gonna configure and I'm gonna work here with JCL for example file um, the snippets has here a uh, name I pass some properties for example here I have the prefix so when I type job this piece of code will come to my screen uh, description uh, about this snippet and the body of the code it may be one line or it may be multiple lines and when we have multiple lines we have to pass this as an array and you can note here that we have number one two three four and so so these are variables I have settled here to come as default and if I want I can change it and my cursor will come directly on this point I have also settled some uh, examples you can set the one as you want I have already worked with uh, snippets for workflow as well and all of this will be available in my github at the end so to exemplify that today I'm gonna take some exercise here from the mainframe playground and for who doesn't know this website it has some source for you to learn more about TOS about some features here it has the challenges for you to do and it has some hints about how to resolve this and this one has some stats about European Union countries about population and we're gonna upload this using Zoe to a sequential file and then after we're gonna write our JCL to split that into three uh, members so let's go to the VS code again I have already uh, copied that data into this file in my machine and we're gonna upload to this file to this sequential on the LPAR if we note here uh, we don't have this file located yet then so we're gonna locate it first and there we go so with the command zoe files create sequential passing the properties it will be a fixed block with 120 of records length and block size 27,480 size of one track and the PA is to show the stats after the location happens so it was allocated if I refresh here now I'm gonna see the data set so it's empty on the mainframe so let me close it and I'm gonna upload now with the Zoe files upload command file to data set so my find my machine and the data set on the mainframe file upload successfully if I update here now I will come here and the data is here I can come also here to the LPAR and check it to show and there we go our file is here with the data we just uploaded and to continue that let's uh, create a new file here to write our JCL so example.jcl and when I type job the snippets come here I can uh, change the properties or let it like it is so I'm gonna use the same here and I can use the other snippets as well I'm gonna use my beginner here my input data set will be the stats
and the output will be the if the gen e u stats so I'm gonna locate so it's gonna be new with tracks and directors because it will be a PDS and then I'm gonna use ebgener on ebgener for you that's not familiar with that there is here some examples we have to pass some uh, in some indices in the how we're gonna handle this data so we're gonna generate so I have here the card generate so three members and we have passing two identities for that so the first one the first record ident we're gonna use uh, four characters and it will take the first line so it's gonna use the rank to know where it should use and then the member name gonna be label the second record we'll use just two and we're gonna take the 10 first line so it has the index 10 and we're gonna take also from the first so this one we will call it top 10 and the third one will be the other 40 so our JCL is here. We're gonna also use the low the Zoe commands to submit this job. So Zoe jobs submit from local file. Number of my file to submit will be example dot JCL and I want the output to come to directory dot output as we can see here it's not created yet it will be created after my job finishes so here we can see our execution if we here if we, we come here we can check our execution and see what happened we got a condition code of 12 so let's see what else we have here uh, for step 1 is print so you see here at, as for who is starting with the mainframe that's even easier to find the error if we are using this because uh, the SDSF, SPF and other TSO tools they may not be so familiar for newcomers and here we saw an example that says the ident should come uh, after the member not before so let's fix our JCL and let's see how easy it is and there you go and let's submit again our job. Oh, I didn't save that. We got here a JCL error. Let's check why. And for you that is already familiar, you may already know that the name of the data set is already duplicated. There we go. And this time we're gonna save our file. The right one will be allocated.
and we have here our final uh, execution with the right codes and if we come here to our extension we can take a look on this And there we go, we have here a PGS and we have our members with the records we want. So the idea of this video was to show how we may come the work to work with JCL using the VS Code. I hope you like it and thanks.